Hi, this is Scott Bogren, Editor-in-Chief of Digital CT Magazine, and I'd like to welcome you to a special edition of Digital CT focusing on employment, transportation, and access to jobs, and most specifically focusing on uh, van pooling as, a, as one alternative to taking Americans to work every day. And uh, we think this is a really uh, important issue and a vital edition of the magazine that uh, we're using as well to launch or introduce a new product from the Community Transportation Association, our Van Pool Works project. And the Van Pool Works project is going to be focused on uh, teaching and helping all forms of community and public transit operators uh, with ways to introduce van pooling as a cost-effective and efficient way to move people and in meeting the commuting needs in any type of community. Uh, the cover edition really, uh, 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 the cover art and the van pooling uh, uh, artwork you see that I just showed uh, is going to be used throughout the Van Pool Works launch and uh, we do hope that you'll take the time to get to better understand what we're what we put together as the Van Pool Works project and that you'll take a look at that. The edition has a really wide-ranging focus on varying forms of commuting and employment transportation. And one of the first articles out of the box is a is a is a feature piece looking at commuting in America and how it's changing, and some of the ways in which technology is is changing that, and some of the ways in which uh, data and 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 the use of algorithms and other such things is changing, and m gives many examples of how we're analyzing commuting in America today and how we're evaluating commuting in America today. And near the end of that article, it also introduces concepts like van pooling, and car sharing, uh, um, bike sharing, ways to uh, modern, new, new and uh, cost-effective ways to help Americans get to work and first mile, last mile issues, that kind of thing. You'll also see in this edition of CT a, uh, an important article on sector-based employment transportation uh, alternatives. And this, this is coming from some information from our job links team. And it's really an interesting look at the manufacturing sector, the hotel sector, the retail sector. How do we analyze the commute and commuting and public transit's response to Americans' commuting needs by sector? And I think uh, if you, when you take a look at that article, be sure to look at some of the innovations in action that we've boxed within that article because it shows uh, it's kind of a who's who of American business and how they're, how they're working to uh, make the commutes for their employees a little better and a little easier. Uh, we have an article in this edition on telework. What is that? How does it work? And why is that a growing and increasing component in many transit systems and in many communities uh, uh, management of commute and, and transit demand. We also have a look at two of our job access and mobility uh, JAMI teams, one in Texas, uh, Alice, Texas, and the other in New Jersey, in Mercer County, New Jersey, and what they've done uh, based on some design thinking approaches and some, some technical assistance and training that they went through with CTAA and how they've uh, kind of used that and leveraged that training to build innovative commute uh, solutions in their communities. There's an article about apps and technology and how that's really changing the way commuters in many parts of the country interface with the transit components and the varying transit components how apps have become so important and vital and, and um, uh, how you can use them and, and how you can help develop apps that kind of work uh, for what, what you want to do. Of course, with Van Pooling on the cover, there's an important addition, uh, important article, excuse me, on the cow vans and farm worker transportation, which really highlights that van pools are not just in urban areas, but really they can be a good solution all across uh, the country. So this is a uh, this has got this edition of the magazine. We think has a lot of important uh, articles. Uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. And uh, as always, uh, appreciate uh, all the readers taking the time to look at at this edition of the magazine. And, and before we kind of sign off, 
really it's important to as well take into account that this edition of the magazine is kind of brought to you through the filter of two different products that we're working on. Again, the Van Pool Works product, but also our Rideshare Nation. And both of those are taking a look at, at the commute from a more modern, data-driven, and responsive, flexible, uh, uh, all those kinds of uh, uh, watchwords, buzzwords, um, we think can are, are built into what we're trying to uh, communicate and work with our members on when it comes to, again, the Vanpool Works and the Rideshare Nation. So, uh, as always, I hope you do enjoy this edition of Digital CT Magazine. Uh, you can reach me directly at Bogren, B-O-G-R-E-N, at ctaa.org. Uh, I always look forward to feedback from our readers. And uh, we have another edition of the magazine in the pipeline before the end of the year, another edition of Digital CT. So we'll be coming to you shortly. But in the meantime, enjoy this edition of the magazine. And thanks for reading.